So my name is Seth Anziska, and I'm the Mohammed uh, S. Farsi Polanski Lecturer in Jewish-Muslim Relations at University College London. And uh, my work is focused on Israeli and Palestinian history and U.S.-Middle East relations in the 20th century. Well, I've always been very interested in thinking across national boundaries, and in particular, something that uh, has been a, a great deal of interest to me is working in between places that are ordinarily not always accessible. Uh, and in, in the work that I talked about today at the conference, it's thinking a lot about the relationship between Lebanon and Israel in the context of the Middle East, and how might we think about the frame of Jewish-Muslim relations as a way into writing international histories uh, of regions and places that are often siloed into national boundaries. And one of the uh, exciting things about this conference and the kind of work that's being presented is how much it's enabled a certain cross-fertilization of people working across these different uh, boundaries and the kinds of research questions that are animating projects uh, from a whole host of different places coming together in one place. One of the things uh, that, that is, is so exciting to me is the possibility of, in, 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 in writing about um, places uh, in, in the Middle East, uh, is, is thinking very much about how you could bring together archival sources with oral history interviews from places that ordinarily aren't uh, in touch uh, with each other. So the work that I talked about today was looking at um, thinking about the legacy of the 1982 Lebanon War. And um, we have uh, an amazing amount of uh, uh, historical work that can be done because of availability of archives, both in Israel and in Lebanon, and also in the United States, and the opportunity to interview um, veterans and survivors of the war and talk to them about how this has impacted them uh, in different, different ways and how the legacy of this war and its history is also very much tied up with questions of memory and contemporary politics. Well, one of the most frustrating things about thinking about Jewish-Muslim relations today is that everything is often done through a prism of conflict and national rivalry and very hardened senses of identities uh, between Jews and Arabs and Jews and Muslims. Um, and in, in point of fact, uh, what's important is to think about what kinds of uh, connections and continuities might we be able to locate between these different groups. Um, and in particular, when we think about the modern Middle East, uh, how might we integrate Jewish history with Middle Eastern history? Uh, how might we imagine um, contingent and complex identities that existed before and after the age of nationalism? What does it mean to be uh, a Jew in the Arab world? What does it mean um, to be Muslim in a Jewish context? And so these are the sorts of questions that I think we don't ask often enough. And one of the things that this conference has managed to do is to really bring together a community of scholars and a wider public uh, to talk through some of these issues. Well, I think much of it is dependent on location, and you know, one can't say sort of uniformly uh, how Jewish-Muslim relations uh, evolves because very, very much it's site-specific and geographically specific, um, and it's also very much tied up with what period you're talking about. So it's hard to make general claims, but. Um, one of the things that I'm interested in is the, the degree to which the rise of Zionism and Arab nationalism affects the relationship between these communities. So if we think back to the 1890s or early 1900s, is it possible to be uh, a, a, a Jew writing in Arabic uh, in, a, in a Middle Eastern context, um, not necessarily uh, sympathetic to Zionism or perhaps sympathetic to Zionism, but that your identity could exist in a space that today we find very difficult to imagine. And um, in particular, um, what, what's so interesting about the new work that's coming out uh, in this field is the ability to recover these kinds of um, realities that are very hard to see today, um, and what that might do to facilitate more of a cross-cultural conversation and a, a new language around thinking through Jewish-Muslim relations.